G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an instigating warglaive with Vats Criticals doing 50% more damage. Couple of things that are new, at least to me. The warglaive, it's a two-handed slugger-type melee weapon that I haven't unlocked until now. Thank you very much, Minerva. We've also got the Vats Criticals on melee weapons, which is great because a lot of your legendary perks to do with melee weapons are going to be activated um, with the vats, so you'll find that you'll be able to get a lot more damage from this as you're getting a lot more damage from your legendary perks, which is great. It's a nice little synergy, and the game is quickly evolving in the direction of the vats criticals because our other things are all additive now, and sure, this might be additive, but still, it adds a lot more damage than what you'd get out of explosive or fire rate in specific certain conditions that would make it a very viable choice for doing a whole lot of damage. Plus, Fallout games, you get VATs, you may as well use it, right? A little bit of free auto aim there. Unless you're playing in Nuclear Winter, you've got to use a little bit more skill for there. So we've got 213 damage with the standard blade now, and we'll have a look at the other blades in a second, but... I've just been noticing something when comparing to similar comparable weapons. This is a bloodied swing speed super sledge. You'll see that we're at full health, so that is not going to be indicative of the uh, bloodied thing boosting it, and it does more damage. So what's the point of having a war glaive when this thing already does better damage? Well, perhaps the war glaive can be swung without being detected, which already gives us a leg up on this thing, but we've got other weapons in my mighty stash that we might want to look at. I think I went on and said that the pole hook is a superior weapon here because of how much damage it does and how silent it is. And there's also a sheep squatch staff, which I don't have the necessary modifications for. I've kind of left that one on the back burner, but I've got a legacy one buried down deep here. I think it's like a stalker's one doing 195. I'm just going to pick that up, see if I've got any mods for it to make it a little bit better. I think the uh, flaming head is the best for it and i've got a barbed one which does 221 which is on par with the super sledge here and uh, above this so this is kind of sitting in a weird spot where well it just really doesn't do a lot of damage and we can tell from this they're actually trading up basically half of our ballistic damage to get ourselves a little bit of cryo which reduces movement speed that's kind of cool flaming which gives you a little bit of fire damage it's probably not all that much something to really write home about the plasma blade adds energy damage you don't want to use that thing because um energy damage in this game is impotent so you'd be losing out a lot more damage and the shocking blade doesn't stun enemies because it doesn't exist in that game but I think that looks the coolest. I think most practically speaking, the uh, Cryo Blade is probably the best, even though we do lose out in a little bit of damage. If we end up slowing them down, maybe it'll slow them as we uh, go to hit them and they won't be able to hit us in time. But we are using a Slugger weapon, so swing speed is definitely going to be something that's bad. Also, this is off a little bit, isn't it? That's a rookie mistake. I used to make that mistake making weapon mods back in Fallout 4. There's also appearances. And I could change this if I wanted to. Not going to. So now with that weirdness out of the way, we can go ahead and upgrade our thing. We'll be using Slugger Perks here, which I don't actually like all that much because uh, we don't have access to... I mean, Iron Fist is what I use for um, unarmed weapons. And that leaves me six points for Blocker and Barbarian to get my tankiness all the way up. So... Yeah, we're not going to be having all of that tanky effect to us, so we'll be a little bit more squishy despite having 8 endurance. And now with all of those perks, 137 and 164 versus the 285 there, so we're getting around the same damage-ish. Yeah, this thing does have the extra 20 of fire damage, which is cool. Um, In terms of how this thing works with Incisor, I'm not sure if the Incisor actually goes over that damage so um that might just be completely lost damage there because uh we're not punching through a lot of the, with the uh ballistic damage to mitigate that armor but i don't know we'll have to see how we go i'm not really keen on this already it's giving me a pretty bad vibe here considering that uh i mean we are slightly doing more than the pole hook here but i'm thinking something like a sheep squash stuff can do better on it also i don't know how valuable this thing is it's a pretty terrible weapon i wouldn't use it but people go mad over legacy weapons oh you can't get this anymore look it's a stalker's melee okay welcome to the jungle we've got fun and games and this is what the warglaive looks like now i'm just checking whether we've got 100 moody's yes we do had to quit out the server and come back to a 
actually see that. And as a reminder, these are my perks, and my legendary perks are as such. Now, I've got a thing called follow-through here, which does 40% multiplicative damage, so 1.4 times multiply on my damage if I hit him with a ranged sneak attack first, which is going to outdo whatever I can do with the instigating effect, which is only plus 100% additive. Hard to explain if you don't know the numbers behind it, but this this is not doing double damage, all right? This is a big fucking lie, which is a shame, but we'll uh, we'll see how we go. Um, we don't have any adrenaline, and we don't have extra strength from our uh, unyielding, but depending on how we go here, we'll see how we go. So that was a critical, managed to kill that thing in one shot. Unfortunately, couldn't finish the dog, but now with extra adrenaline, we should be able to do that now. Never mind, we're in danger now. And I'm really not liking this slower swing speed because they're getting shots on us whilst we're winding back for our other swings, which is not good because it'll slowly chip away at my health. We've got another crit ready, so we should be able to one-shot this guy. Uh, we didn't because we didn't get the explosion, so a little bit of RNG guesswork is in here, but we'll continue sneaking like this because it's by far the most efficient way of taking these guys down. We can make the best use out of nice our did that kill the one on above as well almost we can make the best use out of the instigating legendary effect by using that's gotta mean him dead right he says got me but then he forgot where i was okay bugs and then i couldn't target him for a second he put his butt in my face that was uh very unneeded um, so yeah we may as well use this thing and play to its strength if we can get a vat shot and get some explosions at the same time as well we've got a 50 percent chance to roll one then we can do quite a lot of damage enough to one shot them but this thing is just too slow and ooh, the camera was underwater for a bit there we dipped the camera in fev now it's green and ugly and also stupid all right so it doesn't look like we're getting much utility out of the freezing at all and again we were undetected for a second and then back to detected Something's gone off in here. It's a bit weird, actually. There we go. There's the one-shot kills. Now, if I was using a weapon that I'd consider to be the best, bloodied swing speed, strength, power fist, I'd be able to charge through here, one, two, punch, kill everything, and I'd be hitting them fast enough to not have to worry about it. But we're kind of stuck in this limbo of throwing grenades at dogs while trying to press the old button for power attacks. <laughs> no, uh, we're... Kind of just hobbling around, sneaking, and making the best of what we can, which is kind of a shame. Because the gameplay is going to be slow, and the swing speed sure isn't helping us. Maybe you'd find that uh, the crit damage would be better on a thing that hits a lot faster. Maybe a combat knife with crit damage would be unreal. Um, it would give you an interesting um, chance to have a look at what you could do with uh, luck-based melee builds. Although... Um, if you were to do that, you'd, I mean, it'd be possible, but you'd have to either give up a lot of endurance, intelligence, or, um, perception to do it, which I'm doing for some of these, and maybe no charisma either. It'd be interesting to see what you can come up with. Um, easily done these days, thanks to the ability to, um, you know, swap your perk points at will, which is great. What am I in danger from, game? Someone sh start shooting at me so I can track them down? Nope. Never mind. Oh, wait. Got a little bit of idle, idle dialogue from this guy. Who's telling a bunch of his dead friends that he's unsubbable. We'll see about that, mate. Almost. Doesn't help when melee fails. Like, I don't know how, how many melee attacks have failed. But some of the time it does fail. Let's not forget that. Um, but I think we're done here. It's, it's a slow run, but we're only half injured and... Damage at this point looking decent. Uh, for some reason, the cryo was doing a lot better than my ballistic at this point. Perhaps they are calculated differently. Um, are we seeing multipliers here for the cryo? Mm, maybe not. So, for a, a call to players who are more learned with this weapon, what would be your recommendations for attachments on this thing? Because none of these things seem particularly interesting. None of them change your playstyle in a specific way to make you play any different than what is normal. And maybe we could get away without sneaking here. It's, it's nice when melee 
that fails, and whoever says it doesn't fail, well, you just saw it. It's not perfect, but you know you hit it. You hit them 90% of the time, and if you if you're familiar with XCOM, that means you know that you're hitting them 10% of the time. I think we've got a murmur in here, so we'll terminate that thing with extreme prejudice. There you go. Got a ghoul slave missile launch for our trouble. We'll keep bonking these guys on the noggin. Seems to be doing all right. And there's another um, bad thing about a swing speed as abysmal as this is that if ghouls hit you and shit like that. They're going to stagger you, they're going to cancel your attack, and it'll screw you over because that means that you'll possibly see... Oh look, it's another Merm, I didn't even see you there. I was too busy being blocked by the piece of shit on my screen that I grabbed. Yeah, and Ghoul Slayer's inertial missile launcher. Yeah, thanks. I really wish you could toggle the um, legendary preview things off because they're... They, like, you pick up a legendary during combat just so you don't forget it later on, right? And then it just gets in your way. I'm looking at you, you Gatling Plasma, every fucking time. Great, I'm blinded. You may as well just have thrown a flashbang in my screen game. So hopefully, maybe the tweaks that the PTS are doing can whip something up like that. And then I'd be very happy. Not happy enough to find uh, something else, to, to not find something else to complain about. But, you know, baby steps in the right direction. Now we've got a fat ass in here. Yes, we do. We've already blown our instigating strike on him, so I'll just get the follow-through bonus. <laughs> ah, feels good. That guy usually eats me, so I'm glad to kill him. I think with slugger weapons in general, I, it's got to be a swing speed or bust type deal, because the amount of time that it takes you to swing these, even with something like... Nice laser sniper, pal. See ya. And... A little bit off the top, don't like your haircut, hit you for 2700 damage, that's good. But yeah, um, the amount of time that it takes you to swing, even with Martial Artist, is... Wait a minute. Okay, we're not instantly detected, but it makes some sort of sound, and you're not allowed to spawn dogs on this occasion. That's right, you fall into little bits like that. So, you know, we're not 100% sneaky here, it's not like we're using a combat knife and stealthily, ninjally chopping everyone up. Suppresses plasma gun, eh? That's not what I got, and there we go again. Something's on the screen. No, no, go away. Well, if I ended up getting killed there, I could have blamed the game then, and I would have gotten away with it, but luckily I didn't. So, adrenaline now. We're at nerd rage threshold, and we're getting 221 and 2 something something. I know this is a... I don't have the bloody thing on me anymore, but... It would have been a cheat for me to, you know, switch it over and say, Hey, look how much damage I'm getting with this super sledge, but... Yeah, um, the utility on crit damage on a thing that hits so slowly, it's kind of like the hunting rifle of melee weapons. Sure, it's going to hit hard, but you're much better off hitting softer if you can hit a lot, uh, a lot quicker. You know, the sustained DPS type deal, which this thing ain't got. We're going to hit this guy in the face. Take that. We are detected now, big sad, but we can chop him in the face, and uh, by the third blow... He is dead. Now, we could get our rads up to increase our strength a little bit, just to squeeze out a little bit more damage, but I'm probably going to play this safe and do a stim pack. Just kidding. No, I won't. It kind of perplexes me that Bethesda would hide these weapons that are so mediocre compared to what their peer weapons are, if I could use that term. Um, why would they they'd put them behind this outrageous wall of RNG luck once per day if you get fucking neon hello signs then tough fucking luck. Alright. I think that crackhead had the uh, marsupial perk there and what we're going to do is we're going to apply some more of this follow through bonus. I think the Milo King and Friends have dealt with this lot kind of easily and I don't have to worry about losing the uh, follow through bonus here. Is he T-posing on me? Not cool man, not cool. Because the follow-through bonus that I get, a lot better than what I get. It's like slagging your enemies in uh, Borderlands 2 with like a Pimpernel. That, that was a cool tactic that I used to use. It was good as. Alright, so I've got the feeling this queen might kill us. So I'm just going to pop a preemptive stim pack. Just so you don't have to watch me go through another death. And it makes me look better if I don't die. I just got hit with damage over time. That's fun. Alright, this guy is set up for follow-through. We'll go ahead and chop him. Black SS to Subaru. Chopped them into many bits. Alright. 
Now, let's play this extra super duper ultra mega safe and get the aiming down sights bug. Is that what I'm getting? No, I just couldn't move properly. I... Oh, I'm over capacity somehow. Yes, that happens. Need to get rid of this stupid missile launcher. Anyways, we'll hit this thing. Stop that. There we go. Tactical use of that's exploding shit. Nice little flank attempt here, must say. These uh, my lurks are... Uh, they're doing well today. Mummy's gonna send more of her children out, ready to fight outside of the room. Tell you what, if my mum shat me out during the middle of a fight, I'd be screaming, crying on the ground, not ready to fight. These my lurks mean business. Alright, got the job done, and I'm glad that I went with the Enforcer route, because, uh, well, got a Radium Rifle too. If I didn't go with the Enforcer route, I probably would have gotten my ass handed to me there because that took like half an hour to bloody do, but needs must. Let's see what I get from this Radium Rifle, right? I better get nothing. We'll see how we go. Yeah, got nothing. Alright, this Enforcer train ain't stopping now, and I've got a legendary two-star Scorch Beast in my sights. Well, in the middle of my screen, there ain't no sights I'm looking through here. We'll use this follow-through bonus to the best of our ability, then probably get swamped by a bunch of punchy dudes. Or, softlock. No. Bro Scorch Beast help us out of that mess. See, the game sort of fixes itself if you let it. And now, we're in a bit of trouble. Yeah, they're poking me with their sticks now. That's okay, I can use them for adrenaline body, you see. We'll click a block there, get you up and about. Probably won't want to stick around after that. Yep. No way you're going to stick around, and no, I don't want to target this guy. Thank you, Bats. And there we go, another miss. If we had a faster swinging weapon, we probably would have caught him there because the swing wouldn't have been so bloody delayed. All right, back in the caution. If we can cripple your head, we can make sure that... It... Well, we're doing a lot of damage with the combat shotgun here. Normally, I'd probably just keep shooting it with the combat shotgun. We'll do that. Oh, look, Okay, what is he, an Imperial landing craft dropping off his troopers? They're all spawned under him. Do they lay eggs like my alert queens too? Hey, no taking a piss. It's very undignified. Get here. I like bonking him on the head. It doesn't sound like a war glaive would sound. you think it'd make it like a sharp pokey noise like a machete would, but... Nope, not in this case. We'll re-get the follow-through bonus here. Shoot him in his nads just to make him hurt a little bit. Can't argue that 2,500 isn't a bad number. I quite like that. And we managed to whip out two kills there thanks to Hack and Slash. It was Cleave once, right? Then they nerfed it. Alright, that one's out of here. Gonna have to worry about that one. Which is odd because if it had a turn around and started punching me, it would have done a lot more damage. I think it's it's gone over and checked out my survival tent. It must be one of those plays that resents for buying Fallout first. It happens. Remember when the first come in, like there was a class war happening. Had to hide my private server, otherwise I'd get bullied by online randos. All right, follow through bonus has been achieved. Let's chop it in the head. See where we go. One, two. Ah, got him. Just in time. And I hope you got a stunt double for that one, because that looked painful. Thank you, I'll be here all week. Um, and that's it. For the instigating uh, lucky, lucky meaning crit damage, catch on people, it's not that hard. You ever played Fallout 4? Remember Righteous Authority, crit damage? It was lucky. It's lucky prefix. Alright, cool, got it. Nice. So yeah, I'm actually... I mean, started liking it towards the end there. It's definitely got the heavy hitting potential, but... In terms of overall mobbing compared to something that I'd usually use, and I'm fairly certain that I'd get a better damage number out of this thing stock than what I would get with uh, my bloodied pal fist. I'm going to bring out Becca's Punchy for a second just for a little bit of a post-match comparison here. Where is it? It's got to be up here somewhere, right? Looking for BE. There we go. If I... If I just uh, do some right away and stim packs and shit. I need to mess with my immune system, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Real good here. I'm going to eat some of this as well. There we go. We even get extra XP. That's good. So, yeah, we're doing that much. 294 versus... 
Eh, it's about equal, isn't it? Um, actually, this thing is slightly edging out, but notice how fast this is swinging versus this. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever find a replacement. Oh, the glowing orb is following me around. That's weird. Oh, it just kind of stays there. Hey, that's kind of cool for some lighting. Check this. We can look all blue and stuff like an avatar. Is that a bug? <laughs> of course it is. Anyways, I've droned on long enough. Thank you for watching, guys. My review is pretty good, but I've got better, so I won't be using it.